Welcome back, everybody. This year is the 10th anniversary for a program designed to promote awareness of the dangers of heart disease, still the number one killer of women. Joining us now to talk more about Going Red and how you can help, we welcome Deborah Pitts. She is the chair of Go Red for Women campaign this year. So good to see you. Nice to see you, Kelly. Okay, so last year was huge, but this year is going to be even bigger because it's the 10th anniversary. What changes have you seen in the Go Red for Women campaign? Well, the wonderful thing about what's happening with the Go Red for Women campaign is in addition to grow, building awareness about the dangers of heart disease for women, we're also focusing on teaching women how to live healthy. And you know, that is the thing. Women definitely put themselves last. Either they're taking care of the family, the kids, their own parents many times, and so they don't focus on themselves. What kind of local support are you seeing for the National Go Red for Women Day, which is February 1st, by the way? We are encouraging everybody to go red, not only on February 1st, but all of Heart Month. Mm -hmm. We have a significant number of buildings that are going red and companies that are going red. The state capitol will be red. Um, I, uh, the YMCA is joining in our efforts. It's oh, really so cool. exciting. All right, so let's talk a little bit about we're getting the word out there so people know that you have to you have to know that this is out there and it can affect anyone, especially women. But what can they do to prevent it? Are we getting the word out about prevention? Are we making the steps as far as finding better cures and better treatments? We are making tremendous strides, but we we continue to need women to focus on some really simple things. Okay. The three eights. Get eight hours of sleep a night, drink eight glasses of water a day, and walk eight miles a week. A week, okay. So I was gonna say eight miles no, a no, day. No, 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 no. Uh, Deborah, I'd Who be in good that? shape. And eight <laughs> miles a week, you can do. You're probably That's... doing that already. So we're talking about little changes you can make. Park further away at the grocery store. Take the stairs, not the elevator. That kind of thing. Bake, not fry. Oh, that's a good one. No sugared sodas. Yep. No smoking. Well, and you know what? That's something that people could take a pledge maybe to do for the month of February. If there's something that you're looking for a lifestyle change, February is the month to do it. For a link for more information on the National Wear Red Day on Go Red for Women campaign, log on to our website, fox17.com. Click on Fox Links. We're a proud supporter. We're going to be talking about it through the month of February. I'm going to have on red on February 1st. I promise. I, I said today, I wish I would have had my red dress on. I wasn't ready for today, but definitely February 1st we'll have it on and hopefully get the word out to all the women out there. Thank Ke you so much. Kelly, thank you. We appreciate you coming in, Deborah Pitts.